Hello everyone, today is May 8th on a Tuesday. It's 7 in the morning and I cannot believe I'm awake. Today is the gender reveal um, ultrasound day. So I'm super excited and I'm nervous, but I'm like super excited overall. It's gonna be a really good day and overall I'm just excited to see my little one. Um, because it's been a couple of weeks since I've gone in for an ultrasound, which is a good thing. But I'm going to start making some breakfast because I'm so hungry. Like, I'm starving. That I was just determined to go to McDonald's and pick up breakfast. But at the same time, I thought that was going to take long too. So, might as well just cook it and be healthy. <laughs> Made eggs, potatoes, turkey bacon. And that's my pancake. That's my boyfriend's food. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't want to wash plates after this. So, I'm just using plastic plates. <laughs> we did the ultrasound. Healthy baby. Except that it's a hundred and thirty bucks. Can you do it here? Has it enough? Juicy wings. So you guys want to go to dinner? How should I get? Give it to me. Is she a mango? All right, guys. So it's been a pretty long day today. I'm finally home. I did some grocery shopping. And I'm finally going to relax a little bit, do a little bit more gender reveal planning just to make sure we have everything before Thursday. Still doing more shopping tomorrow, by the way. But um, I just want to make sure we have everything by tomorrow and Thursday. My phone has been dying all day, so I haven't even been able to bring you guys along with me. And I got some fruit on my way to the grocery store because I was so hungry. So thirsty as well, so... Um, I think I'm like starting to feel it because it's weird like when you're dehydrated you feel it in your body and your baby my baby is looking so cute we got to see the nose we got to see oh my gosh I'm breaking out because I've like been slacking off my skincare but anyway we got to see the nose we got to see the lips the toes the fingers and like so far what I see I feel like what happened baby has dad's nose very camera shy like the baby was putting the hand on the face so like you know we wouldn't disturb him or her um i think the baby was hungry which i was really hungry by the time we got there and i was like i'm getting hungry baby was putting the hands in the mouth and then like it went like this and it was like oh, it was just the cutest thing ever and then um so i think the camera shyness is gonna come from dad and then um what else happened it was just it was precious <laughs> but I honestly feel like the baby has my appetite but yeah so that's been today we're getting some tables and chairs rented so that's what I'm working on right now trying to find a location that's close by where we're having the party so yeah that's my hey everyone so I just left my doctor's office and I am at Michael's now I feel like I've been here every single day for like the past couple of weeks I haven't I'm totally kidding but I am going to buy a couple of things that I need for the gender reveal. What do I need? I need gold paper and I need cake pops things, but I don't know if I should get those somewhere else. Like maybe cheaper. I'm going to see if they have like better um, deals, but the baby's doing good. I'm so happy. I love hearing the baby's heartbeat. Um, I still need to go get one more blood test. I have my glucose test number two coming up again. But I think I should be okay. I did wake up a little dizzy today, which I told my doctor about. And she told me that it could be either dehydration, that I could have low blood low blood pressure. So my pressure drops because I'm not having enough sugar throughout the day. Like healthy sugars, of course. Which I think that's what it is. Because honestly, I don't have that many sweets. I think I'm more into like sour things and like spicy food. But um, obviously, I've cut back on that a lot too. Because I don't want to experience something I don't really want to feel, you know what I mean? So it could be three things. And then she told me I could also have like a cup of coffee if I ever feel that way. Maybe just to kind of get my heart rate going. I don't know, which I thought was pretty interesting. But yeah, so I'm on my goals. Gonna get off now. It's kind of hard to vlog and do things. Okay, this is what I'm waiting for. So I came to Creations. It's like a smoothie place. I've never been there, but quickly wanted to share with you guys. I ended up getting this antique gold spray paints because the cardstock paper that was it was like $1.99 per 
paper, which I think is ridiculously expensive since I want to do the center pieces of the paper flowers. Um, so we just ended up getting this one and then I ended up getting the six for the cake pops. They were, I think, buy two, get one free. So I only paid like five bucks for that and five bucks for the spray paint, the spray can for because I also had like a 40% off coupon, but I ended up coming to Creations to get a smoothie because I'm getting so hungry. And honestly, looking at the scale at the doctor's was like so terrifying. And like the weight that I've gained is healthy weight for the baby, um, so that's good. But personally for me, I was like, that is ridiculous. Like there's no way I weigh that much. So I'm here for a smoothie. The first timer at Creations, and I just saw that they have acai bowls. First time having acai ever, acai smoothie, whatever you want to call it, but yeah, it's an acai smoothie, kind of like a to-go bowl. It has granola on top and also bananas. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Gonna give it a try for the first time. That is bomb. Wow, so good. Costco date, awesome. chicken bake, pizza, hot dog, and a burger. <laughs> having a food date at Costco because we're buying um, waters and stuff like that for the gender reveal this Saturday. The food was so delicious. I actually feel good, like I'm full, but I'm not too full. Cute, like this couple was uh, next to us and they were having like ice cream with their churros and it kind of reminded me of like when we would go to Disneyland and do that. Dole whips, I miss so much, but can't wait to go the next time with my baby. Can you believe how big these chips are? They're like they're huge. Do they look big? Oh my god. It has 29 servings. That's huge. Good morning everyone. We are two days away from the gender reveal. And I think I had a dream about that last night. But um, I'm at my boyfriend's house. Currently leaving. We had to run some errands yesterday. I think I showed much of yesterday but He's so sweet. He left me an air freshener for my car. I really needed one. Oh, that'll probably smell good in here now. And it's been, um, I still need to go take my car for a car wash because we're going to be seeing people on Saturday. And I don't want them seeing a dirty car. <laughs> I just woke up maybe like 15 minutes ago. I left my snow girl with his mom. And I'm running to the Dollar Tree to pick up some plates because um, taking the food to get done today but the food won't get done until tomorrow so I just want to make sure I have everything beforehand um, yeah so these next two days are just gonna be like busy 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 um, I'm very excited though I like I can't believe the days coming by so fast I feel so puppy today but um I have my water where's my water it's in here but I'm like obsessed with this bag that I got from Dollar Tree. I mean, sorry, from Marshalls. It's like $5.99. It has like a mermaid on it. But it's so sturdy and it's perfect for groceries because here in California, I don't know if it's just LA that they do that, but you have to bring your own groceries now. I mean, you have to bring your own bags now or they charge you for bags. And I'm like, what for? I'll just get my own bag. I sometimes forget them though. I try not to drink too much water when I'm out and about because then I really have to pee. I see so many YouTubers serve their coffees in these and I freaking love them but they buy them, I don't know, they were talking about being expensive. Homie, they got them at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. I think I'm gonna take one. <laughs> I really like it. So this is what we are working with. <laughs> I'm so in love with my bag. I ended up getting this glass thing for my coffee. Um, my car is a mess. I need to go get it clean. It's freaking cute. The girl fell in love with it. It's only $5.99 at Marshall's and it's so sturdy for groceries. Very like. And now off to the next store. Food for less. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm charging my phone so I can only go a certain distance. My phone was dying and it is dying. But um, I ended up getting my mom some flowers. They're so cute. 
and then while well, I went to the grocery store, I got a couple more things. And I was gonna go to McDonald's because I really love the McGriddles, but I knew I shouldn't be eating that. So I went to Subway instead, and I guess, um, I guess it's healthier, right? <laughs> All right, guys, since this is staying at my boyfriend's house and I'm here right now, I got these for the candy table at the Dollar Tree, which is insane. I cannot believe I didn't go there sooner. This is gonna be for the Jello. Um, I got these, oops. I got these, um, soon, what do they call them? Punch metal. I got two of them because we're having her mica and lemonade. I got the colorful forks for the cake because we already have pink ones as well. Um, and I don't want to use the regular ones that we have for um, our actual food. Got these trays for the food so it could look nice. And I got these salsa bowls for the tables, which I'm going to have two on each. That's pretty much it. But I'm like literally obsessing over this. All right, guys. So I'm going to go eat now. I'm so hungry. how my Thursday's going. I'm so exhausted. Kind of, I think I'm just really hungry. And yeah, so we had to peel a bunch of shrimp. Then what else did we do? My face is like breaking out so bad because I haven't been washing it the way it should be. I'm taking this pregnancy not for granted, but I'm taking all the good stuff happening here for granted and I don't wash my face as much, but um I still have to go buy fabric. I totally forgot. It's, it's tomorrow, the last day. It's flying by. It's flying by. Hi, Ollie. Hi, little baby. Hi, honey. Hi. Where's my good girl? For a while before I go and get some fabric but I really wanted to show you guys something that my mom and I did so that we could save money on the gold the gold centers of the flowers but um, I was gonna buy this paper it's cardstock paper in gold and it was $2.99 each come here it was $2.99 or $1.99 per paper and we needed a paper for like so many flowers that we're putting up and what we ended up doing is I ended up getting this gold, antique gold actually, so we can get that perfect gold um, metallic spray. And we just use like a plain white cardstock paper. Like you guys can kind of see the color there, but turned it gold for so much cheaper because we do have a lot of cardstock paper that we're not even gonna use. So I just told my mom we could paint that and the spray paint was like, $7.99 cheaper because of the coupons at Michael's so technically I paid five dollars and we get to spray paint as many papers as we like <laughs> The only thing is that I personally can't do it because the smell is really strong that I feel like Even if I were to be wearing a mask it would smell and my mom said it's best for me Just not to even be smelling this but um right now we're gonna go get some fabric for the backdrops It'll tell me it just looks like I'm almost just fat <laughs> One of my guilty pleasures, McDonald's fries are just like the best. Mm. It's like 9 o'clock and I'm eating McDonald's french fries. Because I really want some. Shout out to my sister. We should be making paper flowers. But we're eating. We are doing the paper flowers and I've literally only done like three flowers and I'm so done, tired, sleepy. Pero quería party. <laughs> That's what everyone keeps telling me. Um, I don't know exactly what we're gonna do. Now I'm thinking like I should just go buy fake, fake flowers and stick them on there. Cause I think it's gonna take a lot of paper to do this. Um, so we'll see. Regardless, I'm sure I'll end up using them for something, but I just don't know if I'm gonna have enough fake flowers for all the bases I have. Hello everyone, good morning and welcome to another vlog. It's still within the same week, but we are, it's a Friday, May 11th. I woke up back at six in the morning because I really had to go to the restroom, but then I've been tracking my package for my dress to come tomorrow, cooking breakfast by the way, seven now, but um, I was tracking my package for my dress for the gender reveal, which is tomorrow by the way. Take in mind, I ordered this dress over a week ago and it took them 
like a couple days to process the order and I ordered it more than seven days in advance to make sure that it would probably get here like on Wednesday that's what I was hoping for or like a Tuesday or something like that I can't remember but it was a reasonable thing right so it was just it's a whole thing that I will get into details in a little bit but I was so pissed that it woke me up so fast now I'm up I'm gonna have some breakfast and then I'm going to have you're leaving yeah. okay and then I'm going to start making the cake pops so I'm going to be making a red velvet ones because my boyfriend really wanted real velvet cake but where we're ordering our cake from um, I don't think they offer real like they have red velvet I just don't know how good it is then I also got chocolate ones in case people don't like the cake we're having so they have the option to have red velvet chocolate and then also um, portals but I didn't want to like order separate flavors or anything like that I just want to keep it nice and simple small cake pops if people want something else other than what we're providing but at the end of the day it's all about us having fun and enjoying our time with our friends and family and that's what's important to me so yeah i think i'm just gonna end up putting fake flowers on the centerpieces because we're not gonna finish those tiny flowers but i think what i'm gonna end up doing with the tiny flowers that i was making last night is putting them on the photo booth which i think would look so cute even if some girls maybe want to put them off on the side of their head or something I think that would look so cute. Currently making the red velvet cake pops. And it's looking good. This is my first time ever making red velvet. So my boyfriend's very lucky. I love him. <laughs> For the cake pops, before I do this, I'm actually going to wash my hands when I'm mixing it in. But I'm using one third per three cups of this um, shredded... I'm having a brain fart, but... When I shredded this bread from that to here to make sure everything is nice and soft, but for every three cups of bread, it's one of these. So there's like about five, so I'm going to use like one of the one third and then I'm going to do half of this. But I'm going to first mix it up and see how it looks. And oh, let me, let me show you guys exactly what I'm using. I cleaned off this tabletop, but it's just very crummy and... Um, messy, but it is the cream cheese rich and creamy from Betty Crocker frosting Where's my snow girl? Haven't ate for four hours and I am starving and I even felt the baby Hungry that is so weird. That's the first time I ever said that but the movie was the baby was moving around a lot So I figured we're both hungry. So the day before the party Madness I still need to tell you guys exactly what happened at the post office because you don't understand how upset I am about this whole package thing and usually I don't like to go off on rants or talk crap about companies talk honestly like anything that has to be negative I just keep it to myself 